Welcome back, everybody, to Empyreon Galactic Survival Alpha 8.7. I'm an old guy gaming, and I'm actually back in my base uh, here on the planet Valus. Uh, I had to come back here and do something uh, for my server admin, and so I never actually did uh, get any Sathium on that other planet. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is um, probably just head back there again um, and look for Sathium. I'm, we're also going to need um, Promethium, and we're going to need some water, too, because uh, I need to start making a bunch of fusion cells. These fusion cells I spawned in um, to come back uh, for the admin trip. I'm going to dump them out. Uh, these are my legit fusion cells there, by the way. Uh, but I do want to get um, some pretty good production going on those. And uh, probably... Oh, you know what? Something else I was thinking about this offline... We might be able to, if there's snow on top of this mountain here, I can't remember if there is or not. Let's take a look. Excuse me. If there is, then I could actually put some water water jennies just right up here, and then we can get some water production going. I, I do have a, those, you know, two or three or whatever it is, gener gener generators, can't talk, uh, down on the lake. Um, okay, let's see. Yeah, we do have snow up here. Okay. Yeah, we do have snow up here. I don't know this is enough snow for me to set it down on or if it has to be you know more if it has to be like a heavier uh, coating of snow I'm not really sure about that I guess we can find out soon enough though right um, we could even go if it doesn't if it doesn't work up here we could even go down the ramp through there and then have like a pathway up in that little snow area there It'd still be a little bit closer than going all the way down to the lake uh, to get water when we need it so anyway, uh, Sathium and Promethium are going to be the two ores that I'm really going to be gunning for um, so that we can <coughs> get some pretty good uh, fusion cell production going here. Uh, so that's what's going to happen here on the agenda uh, for this stream. Or not, I'm sorry, not for this stream, for this episode. Uh, my plants have regrown and now that I turn the lights back on. I'm not entirely sure why or how rather they survived with the lights off. I'm not complaining. I'm very glad that they did. But it seems to me like they should have died with the lights off. But I don't know. Maybe there's something else going on that I'm not aware of that keeps them alive but just doesn't let them grow or something. Nevertheless, uh, they are back. And so we're gonna I'm going to pick all these plants here and um, get going on that. So I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and pick these. And then I'm going to take back off uh, up into space and head back to the planet that we were at, which I believe was Carbor. Wait a minute, was Car? Is that where we were at? Carbor? I think that's where we we're at. I can't remember now. I'd have to, I'll have to go back and look. Uh, but anyway, we'll head back to Carbor. I, the thing about that though is I kind of like to go to what type of planet is this? Well, that doesn't have that doesn't have any sap on it though. How about this one? This one has sathium, and it is a desert planet. You know what? We might actually go here, and the reason being is because it's a class three, so it's much smaller, and I'll be able to find the resources uh, more quickly than I would uh, here. Uh, plus, Carver doesn't even have a moon anyway. So maybe that's what we'll do: is um, we'll go to uh, this uh, Kalein, I think is how you pronounce that. <laughs> Excuse me. And we'll go after Sathium and Promo on that pound. And, and we'll pick up some copper, too, while we're there, actually, because uh, I need some copper as well. All right, so I will bring you guys back uh, once I get to um, Kalein, and uh, we'll go from there, okay? So I'll be back in just a little bit. All right, guys. Uh, we are back, and we are now in Kalein's orbit. And I just... Uh, realized that I have marked a Promethium asteroid and a copper asteroid. I don't remember if I actually mined them or not, so we're going to do that. Uh, because Promethium in particular, of course, is one of the things that we're after at the moment. And we do have the six mining lasers on the front of the Corvette, so let's go ahead and, and do that now. Uh, so we hit the Promethium, then I'll go over and I'll hit that copper too. Uh, if that one is still there as well. I don't, I just don't remember. I, obviously I have been here, but I don't remember. Uh, doing all of this stuff. But this ought to give us a nice little supply of uh, promo for sure. 
so let's see here whoa okay we got a really long ship so what we're gonna do is get right about there and there it goes um, yeah that's one kind of I guess bad thing about putting those guns down there is we can't see what the hell we're doing um, so let's see here but boy it sure is eating it up fast we're just we're probably gonna have to kind of do this from third person view so to speak whoops I hit the wrong button there um my camera view is all weird okay no ammo box oh okay let's try this again we want to go up and then we just eat it like that yeah I might I might have to come up with like a, a little bit different solution uh, for these mining lasers <clears throat> you know like put them up higher so I can actually see where they're hitting while I'm in the cockpit but this is whoops this is working pretty good for now it's just a matter of getting the right camera angle here Let's go, whoops, let's go up and hit this next part. Okay, I didn't quite want to do that. Let's get right about here and down and then kind of point up that way. The range on those lasers is actually pretty good, but it just doesn't seem like it when when you're in such a long ship like this. There we go. Picking up quite a bit. I sure like, um, <clears throat> I like these capital ship mining lasers. They're really nice. Really nice. Okay, let's back up a little bit this way. And go up this way a bit. All right, you know what? Let's look at something here. I wonder if... Let's back up just a tad. I'm going to try something here. So we're going to go outside here. So we can really only see <clears throat> out on this plane here. So let's see what our options are for replacing these. Replacing these. Um, up a little higher so we can actually see uh, what we're doing here. So if we were to, let's see. If we did something like this, whoops. do is pull this one here and put it <clears throat> maybe underneath the center one I don't know or what we could do is put that one there and 
but this one here <clears throat> got some weird menu lag going on here or something there all right let's try that now see how that works now we can see more see the beams and aim them better uh, while we're in first person view which I think will work better for this particular <clears throat> endeavor oh yeah much better okay Mucho Betero. We've already blown blown throughout the other side there. Looks like they're kind of cutting off and on a little bit. I wonder, I don't know why they're doing that. Right, let's get, uh, let's swing around this way. It actually feels a little bit weird controlling this ship in first person just because of the length of it. You you expect it to to turn and pivot more, but you have you have so much ship, you know, that you're trying to turn here that it messes with your head just a little bit. <clears throat> My mouse is acting up. Not sure. Okay, what the hell's going on here? I think I must have been stuck or something. Kinda cut up in through there. Let's see. Um, yeah, you know what? I think. Um, I don't know. What are, it feels like my mouse is acting weird. Tell you what. Let me um. <clears throat> let me change the batteries in this, and uh, I'll be right back see if that makes any difference okay we're back um, I changed out my mouse actually changed the entire mouse and now I've got a, a cursor showing up on the screen so it's, uh, there, let me get out of the cockpit and back in there we go now I have control um, so yeah the lasers don't seem to be cutting off now so <clears throat> my mouse was probably just acting weird that mouse I had, uh, it was getting worn out anyway, and I had a, a new one that I had bought. I just hadn't opened it up, so I figured now's a good time to do it. Okay, cool. So I think we got all the Promethium uh, off of that roid there. Um, let's go up and make sure we didn't miss something like across the top here. I don't think we did. So we can remove that bookmark. And let's see how much we got uh, from that, too. Uh, let's see. We want harvest. One, two, three. Three full stacks and then another quarter or so. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. All right. Let's go ahead over to this um, copper asteroid just down here and we'll also mine that out.
I'm probably gonna have to re-log to get the like the cursor to go away because it's not uh, not going away. But that's okay. I'm not too worried about it right now. So we'll hit this copper asteroid and then we'll head down to the planet and start looking for some sath and some more promethium uh, deposits as well. Copper asteroid. Where? Okay, there's the copper up on top there. So we're coming down on it, straight down on it this way. Get ourselves a nice little supply of copper here. So one uh, ore that I haven't really felt like I've had an abundance of in this uh, Let's Play series. I've been able to get you know get by okay, but uh, just like to have have a little bit more. Yeah, these lasers are fantastic. Fantabulous. it for that roid. Let's go look around this side. Really, that's all we get out of that thing, huh? Oh, that's a gumbo bummer. Just in case there, you know, on the off chance that there might be some buried inside that we can't see from the outside. Let's just kind of cut into this a little bit and just see what we can see. Getting lots of stone. I'm assuming, and this is definitely an assumption, never really tested this theory, but I'm assuming that all the deposits on an asteroid like this you can see from the outside. At least that's been my experience. Yeah, I don't see anything in there. We'll stick the nose of our ship right inside this roid here. I'm not seeing anything. We're going to be cutting through to the other side here in a second. Yeah, okay. Well, now we know. Now we know. There's a, there's a tiny, tiny bit right there. Got four more copper. Yeah, a little bit right there, too. No, that didn't give us anything. All right, how, what did we get out of that deal? Well, we got a full stack and then some. That's not too bad, I guess. All right, cool. Let us head on down to the planet now. And figure out where the planet is. There we go. And we'll start looking for some uh, sathium deposits that we can use the uh, miner on. Sathium and promethium in particular, of course. You know, something just occurred to me too. Did we? No, I don't think so. I don't think we had sathium on the moon. Because we, we've actually cleared the moon. But the moon doesn't have any copper either, so... Oh, there's the POI. We don't want to 
We're not uh, geared up here for combat yet. We will be, but we're not yet. So we're just going to kind of be careful. You know what I might end up doing too, is I might end up actually making... Um, making it a couple of turrets just to put on the ship because if we're out and about mining and I'm not near the ship, uh, you know, I could get attacked by drones and stuff. Okay, let's get down a little bit lower. Uh, I don't know. That looks like it's probably just a feature of the landscape there. Yeah, it says there's something over here. No, I flipped over there. It's probably just that this POI here. Not sure what that POI is, but I'd rather not take any damage on the ship yet. You know, we don't need a ton of Sath either. I just I just need some. I have very, very, very little. And look at that. Ah oh, shoot, it's just a very small though. Well, you know what? Well, let's just grab it. Oh, we got a drone. Okay, hold on a sec. Let's get away from that drone. And we'll have to hop in the J-Jet and take him out. <clears throat> so let's land right about here. We'll cut our engine power, but leave the overall power on here. And we'll take uh I don't <clears throat> I don't have any ammo in the Raider right now. Raider's kind of crooked too, I just noticed. Um, so we'll just use the J-Jet uh, to take out the enemies. Thirty-six meters, so he's already in there. Right. Any other nasties right nearby here? Yeah, there's a little, little lake down in the, the valley there. I'm not seeing anybody. So we'll head back over there. Just take the whole ship over there. And uh, jump in the miner and get that Sathium. Good old desert planet. Sticking out down there. Okay. Um, I, 
I was thinking about some, oh I know what I want to <clears throat> excuse me I know what I want to do I'm gonna refill fill my tank with um, the fusion cells that I have that I spawned in because I had to make my little admin trip and then uh, 114 is what what I had uh, that I had gotten legitimately So we'll keep those, and then the rest of these we're going to go ahead and trash. Okay. Alright, let's jump in our miner, and we'll go mine up that sath real quick. Uh, our access is over on this side. So as capital ships go, this one's um, not really too complicated in terms of getting around. It's um, oh, you know what? We're gonna have to turn the power off on this, aren't we? In order to keep those uh, those doors open. Anyway, uh, what I was saying was, it's not too hard to get around on this ship. It's uh, it's long, but it's not like gonna be a big maze. Because I've been on capital ships before that were just a real pain in the butt to get around in because they were a maze. Do we have ammo in this thing? Yes, we do. Okay, what is our turret set to? Um, let's see. Turret. Minigun turret. No, 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 no. That's not what I wanted to do. I want to check its settings. Okay, so it's only set to do aliens. Alright, good enough. <coughs> Okay, let's get this Sathium here. You're gonna get right in my way, aren't you? My camera angle's all screwed up. because he's in here with me. I want to make a little bit more of a gradual um, entryway here because I have some trouble getting in and out. Oh, now we got two coming in here. Oh, three. Go away, you guys. I have a little bit of trouble getting in and out of these. Nice. There we go. Okay. Let's try this again. those dudes are in the way. We're probably just going to have to, since it's really hard to see in this miner though, in this view. going on here you can't dig here well I'm not trying to dig here. Hey, look I'm digging myself in a hole all right here Let's see if we can level it out okay that's level Let's just kill the power for a second. 
and jump out and see what the frick's going on here. I did kind of dig myself down into, into a hole, didn't I? Son of a gun. Oh, there goes the timer. Okay. Um, let me grab this drill. We must have we must have hit all the sap. I mean, it was a very small vein anyway. This could be a little tricky. Get out of here. It's gonna actually be very tricky. Get out of here. And these guys aren't helping. They most certainly are not. Ah, shoot. Okay. Well, um, let's see if I can get it leveled out again. I need to go kind of up this way. I think. Is that way we need to go? No, okay, yeah, it's off to the left here. So let's see if we can kind of cut a little pathway uh, to get back out. Okay, level out. This guy's such a pain in the ass. You know, killing him is not a good idea because then his corpse is just going to be in the way. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. You can do it, you can do it. We got it. Okay. Whew. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's the turret that's causing my camera to be weird like that. I think it probably is because I wasn't, you know, I'm using the same miner on the multiplayer server, but I don't have a turret on that. And I wasn't having this problem, so. What we might do is we might end up just taking the turret off um, on the next one that we do and just see if that makes a difference or not. I bet you it probably will. Because even in here it's acting weird. Okay. So what did we get uh, out of that little haul there? Cargo box harvest. 79. <laughs> Hardly even worth the effort. Hardly even worth the effort. Ah, uh, well, it's okay. All right, guys. Well, this episode is done. Um, so I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to just keep flying around here on the desert planet and looking for more uh, sathium and promethium deposits. Um, I don't know if I'll I don't know I don't know if I'll you know do that on camera. I mean, you know, you guys have seen me do it many times before. You know the drill. Basically, we find a sathium deposit, we dig down, get it with this, and then go move on to the next one. So what I'll probably do is just spend some time here off camera. Uh, and get myself a decent supply of sathium. I'm not going to mine out the whole entire planet. And then I'll, I'll probably just meet you guys back at the space station. And we will continue work here on the capital ship. What I want to do is I want to finish the exterior. I'm going to do a little bit of sculpting and a little bit more feature to the exterior. And when that's done, we're probably going to paint. Um, at least, you know, get the outside painted before we start working on the interior. All right, so thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, come and hang out with us on Discord and or come and hang out with me on a live stream. I do live stream several times a week on Twitch, and you can find the links to both of those places in the About section here on YouTube. You guys take it easy, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.